In this video, we're going to learn how to make a NOT gate out of two transistors. So just to review, what is a NOT gate? So we typically draw it like this, and a NOT gate has the property that when we feed it in a 0, the output is a 1, and when we feed it in a 1, the output is a 0. And so we can draw, if this is the input to the NOT gate and this is the output, we can write this out as a truth table, just saying the same exact thing, that when we get an input of 0, the output is 1, when our input is 1, the output is 0. So this is just saying exactly what we did in our diagram to the left. So how do we make this out of transistors? Well, recall that if we have an NMOS transistor, and let's say that this NMOS transistor is connected to ground, then when we give that transistor an input of 1 volt, and let's say that this transistor can operate successfully off of 1 volt, if we call this the output, then this transistor looks like just a wire straight to ground. So we call this transistor on, and we say that it acts like a closed switch. So it just acts like a wire. And so the output is connected to ground. If instead we have an NMOS transistor where the input is zero volts, and this is our output, then this looks like an open circuit. So we have ground over here, but our output is not connected to anything. So it's not connected. In this case, our output was zero volts or ground. And so we can start to make a NOT gate out of this because when our input is one, our output is zero, and that's what we want. But when our input is zero, our output is nothing. It's, it's not connected to anything. So how do we fix this? How do we add a... How do we make something interesting happen when our input is zero volts? We can do this with the PMOS transistor. So a PMOS transistor, we typically draw with this little circle here, and we typically connect it to VDD, which let's say this is one volt for simplicity. Let's draw it in, in red. And a PMOS transistor, when we apply one volt to that transistor, so let's call this down here the output, when we apply one volt to the PMOS, it is off, so it acts like an open switch. So our output is not connected. But when we apply a zero to the PMOS, so when we apply zero volts to the PMOS, then this acts like a wire from, I'm going to call this one volt, or VDD, to our output. And so in this case, our output is one volt, which is exactly what we were looking for. And so by combining the NMOS and the PMOS together, we can create our NOT gate. So if we connect them together like this, we have our PMOS up here, our NMOS down here, and I'll draw them with the arrows. This is one volt. This is ground or zero volts and we connect their inputs together, so this is the input, then when our input is one volt, so let's say our input is one volt, then the PMOS is going to be off, so it's just going to act like an open circuit, but the NMOS is going to be on, so it's going to act like a short circuit, and our output, which is here, is equal to zero volts, which is exactly what we we're looking for. Now when our input is instead zero volts, then the PMOS is on, so the PMOS just acts like a wire, and the NMOS is off or disconnected, and so our output, which is right here, is connected to VDD or one volt, so our output is just equal to one volt. And this is exactly what we wanted, so when our input is zero, our output is equal to one. When our, or sorry, when our input is one, our output is equal to zero or zero volts. When our input is zero, our output is equal to one volt. And so this is exactly what we wanted out of our NOT gate. And this has a lot of advantages 
compared to the using a resistor. This is a lot smaller, so transistors nowadays can be made absolutely tiny, nanometers. Uh, it's, it takes no power. So if our input is zero, then we are disconnected from, our VDD is not connected to ground, so we have no current. And when our input is zero, when our, P, when our PMOS is on and our NMOS is off, then we have no current. So this ideally consumes no power. Um, it's also just very simple to implement. So it turns out resistors are actually quite hard to make in the context of integrated circuits. So this two transistor NOT gate actually does a wonderful job. And it's, a, it's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful design. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.